Yeah. Um, we want to get a good look at what the wounds look like. Then, I, so. I do. Um, yeah. So is that first aid or is that um, evidence analysis? That would be first aid. It'd be first aid. Um, and whatever your role is here um, will apply to the entire procedure, even though you guys are going to be taking a short break to, uh, you know, to, to look at the wounds themselves. Oh man, oh. you know what? I'm I'm gonna spend a possibility on that because I really need to know okay. suss this out. This is a normal wound. Okay. So let's see. So, uh that you did not click on your character, did you? Nope. So the roll was a four for peaches. Hang on. And hello, are you gonna change? There you go. Now you can click on peaches and roll. Click on oh peaches. my god. Thank God you actually took off the gloves. I think that would have ended up being a four case. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that could have ended up being a four case, but uh, she would actually no, she would actually have had to be a one case, just because of, of where she was at. Okay, so that gives you a uh, twelve. Okay, uh, uh, for your result total. So that's that's pretty good for a standard procedure. Um, you're able to get the bandages off mostly without pain. Now, what you guys see is um, there are two claw marks across the, the, the right side of his chest up towards his right shoulder uh, and then at the shoulder itself it actually turns into four claw marks um, and you can see that, that there's all kinds of bruising and, and uh, stuff there there's uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, it's, it, it started to fester um, but when you talk to the to the nurse there, uh, he's like, "Well, uh, we've already given antibiotics. He's supposed to take his antibiotics twice a day, and uh, and we're we're it's looking better than it was yesterday. Matter of fact, let me snap a picture. Pulls out his phone and snaps a picture real quick. That way, I can show the doctor, and we can determine if there's anything else that needs to be done. So now for." You who are looking at the wound, do you have any specific questions? Is it jagged or is it uh, a, 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 a nice slice? It's definitely jagged. So it, it's more claw, animal, dull implement rather than sharp knife, right? Yes. But there was a lot of power that was involved in it. And these are... These these cuts are not spaced on his arm like they you know like they were across the the uh, the upper chest and abdomen of the maid. Um, they're a little bit closer together, and they're not as each mark is not as wide as the ones that were on the maid. Um. So you might say this was a different animal person thing? Two different, or are we talking two different creatures with a different hand span? Are you asking him or are you asking me? I'm asking Paul. Okay. Is Paul there? Yes, Paul is here. Um, okay. Um, Paul's never there. Anyway, <laughs> it's always all Paul's fault. I can compare them to the photos I took on my iPad if I have to. Oh, you could. You could. I don't see why you shouldn't. And I will be. Okay. I am. Okay. So it, it, it kind of, you know, when you look at, at measurements, um, you're kind of seeing uh, the differences that I've just described, basically. Okay. So. So it's definitely a different... And Definitely. We're, we're dealing with multiple animals. Multiple animals, basically, yeah. Um, but to hear the guy in the cell, okay, to, to hear Charlie say it, and I'm, I'm just naming him Charlie. That's not a proper Indonesian name or anything like that, but uh, I, I just throw that out there. Um, you know, no, Charlie. Char and Baku and Ping are our Indonesian names. Well, there you go. Okay, Baku. Let's sure. Why not? Let's do that. Um, but uh, Baku looks at your tablet that you have right there, and he is uh, he he kind of raises his his eyes get real big for a second, and he says, "Is that Shonda?" 
And, you know her? Uh, I, I do not face it towards him. Um, and besides, um, I would... Well, he's kind of looking to... over the top, more or less. You know her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she's... Uh, she was one of my neighbors when I was when I was a teenager. I dated her. And so, were you in jail all night long? Uh, tonight, this last night, this last two nights, yes. And and I was in the hospital for two nights before that. Turning back to the, to, I turn back to the to the to the officer. What was the uh, what was the name of the uh, the worker? What was his name? It, Oh, uh, you're talking about the nurse? No, not the nurse. The I'm, talking, I'm talking to the cop. I'm talking to the cop. Oh, I, I haven't made up a name for him. <laughs> I don't need a name for him. Because I need to know I need to know the name. Of the, I, I need him to tell me the name of the worker. The maid. The worker. The one. The other one that was killed. Oh, the other the police maid. officer that was killed? Okay. I was talking not, about the factory worker. Oh, the cannery you. worker. Um, yes. Uh, he he gives you the name. It's it's not you know it's not anything that uh, that uh, yeah. Baku recognizes. Okay. Or okay. The, okay. Do you Just... recognize that name, Baku? No. Okay. So not at all. Baku doesn't recognize. Okay. Good. All right. At least we know that part of things isn't connect. Any kind of connection. <laughs> That'd have been creepy. Anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, um, you know, Baku kind of kind of tilts the pad towards him. Yeah, I recognize her. You know, and he he says her name and answers your question, and everything like that. What is this about? Um, we're 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 trying to find the monsters that did this to you, and and we're just trying to see if there's anything that we can. If there's oh. anything about it you remember that you haven't. Oh, okay. Um, so he, he comes out and he starts with his story. I was sitting, um, I was sitting behind between a couple of garbage cans that I usually sit between when I'm trying to keep the wind from getting at me and the, and the rain. Um, it wasn't raining that morning though. I don't think, um, anyway, these guys wake me up and, and they were just three large white men and they, they, woke me up when they started picking me up and uh and they were trying to one of them was trying to sh throw me over his shoulder but I was resisting I I kicked him in the leg and and he set me down on the ground and 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 he did this and he he kind of kind of moves his head to the left so that you can see kind of the remnant of a bruise uh, across the the right rear of his cheek mm -hmm. and and he says um then um, he gives you the names of the two cops that, that pulled in because he, he knows him. He says, I, I grew up with him in my neighborhood. And then this other one has helped him roust me out before, but, um, so you did not recognize these men who were beating you up. The, 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 they weren't really beating me up so much uh, until I, I resisted. Um, and, and so that's kind of my fault. Uh, <laughs> and you, well, you can hear him kind of slur his words. He is still under the influence, though he's he's starting to come down from it. Uh, and and he says, uh, "Yeah, I, I guess they were beating me up." Yeah, and he's all guilty about it and everything. Um, anyway, he uh, keeps talking about those the police officers, and um. Uh, I, I, I draw him off. I draw. I. 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 You know, I'm gonna definitely stop him from going too far down that hole. Because if he gets to the point where he sees the guy ripped his uh, spine out, that's definitely not gonna make him more talkative. Yeah. Um. Something like that. The, the 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 Anglo's, the white men. What did they? What did they look like? What did they? You you know? You, you see them around? What kind of clothes did they wear? Um. Uh. Hang on. Let me. Let me think. Two of them had kind of rounded jaws, um, and the other one was real square. Um, the one with the square jaw had a very German build. 
he, I've seen enough of them around here. This is kind of a favorite spot for them. If you look back at the lieutenant, he's like, yeah, we get a lot of Germans here. Um, um, he says, uh, I don't, I'm not sure why they would be working together. Um, in fact, two, the two of them with the round jaws actually spoke very good English. Um, Queen's English. So like they were British. And then the one with the square jaw had a very pronounced German accent. Um, uh, strong jawline, strong uh, uh, chiseled features. And he's using words that you would not expect an alcoholic and a drug addict I was about to, to say. Use. Okay. He, he seems very intelligent. If you, if you look back to, to look at the lieutenant, the lieutenant's like, mm-hmm. You know, this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so there's some history there. There's something that has gone wrong in this man's past. But he's <laughs> very articulate. Um, otherwise. Um, when, when you say, when you, when you say in, the Queen's English, are you talking about, like, the, 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 the well, I guess the fairy people queen? The, uh, do you, know, you know what's going on in the world? The fairy people queen? What are you talking no, about? No, 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 not the Elvish Queen. I, I know. The I'm, Elvish I'm just... Queen? What's going on here? Yeah, I, I, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think he was talking out of character for that one, Paul. No, actually, I wasn't. I, 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 oh. I've, I've had enough interactions with the, you know, I, I, I figure I've got to, I don't know how much interaction I've had with the Delphi Council, but I've definitely been, you know, working for the last for the time that you guys have been here too so yeah yeah but oh, yeah. lady ardene is uh, ruling in britain right about now uh, well, that's true. Who? well then i just basically mistook her for an elf okay there you go <laughs> oh no no um actually the question is it's not actually lady ardene that's in charge of england the queen is still in charge of england but she is uh allowing ardene to be there I'm sure she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, secret asylum or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. Basically, um, I, 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 I'm sure there's a wonderful relationship there that there's deep, deep trust and total, <laughs> uh, total cooperation happening. Absolutely, that's completely correct. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so having nothing to do with the fact that they that you know the people that are that they're uh, can throw fireballs and shit like that. So yeah, no, that has nothing to do with it. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so this this guy uh, Baku is sitting there going, fireballs, Lady Ardene, the Queen. What are you talking about? And and never mind. Finally, he he kind of comes to an uh. uh understanding that he doesn't want to understand um <laughs> and uh and and looks back at you and and he's like yeah um the, the 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 like english people like half the people on this island speak in 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 that perfect english accent that snubby snob-nosed english accent and uh okay. <laughs> And uh, um, all three of them were tall, but one of them was shorter than the other two by, you know, a couple of inches. And I got the impression they were they were together. The police. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, they knocked both of the police down, ripped the spine out of the one. And and he doesn't seem to really be phased by when he says that. I'm I'm sure it's something that will greet him again later. But he he comes in and he says, "Yeah, um, he tore the one guy apart, and he sh and the other guy was shot. Um, no, he was hit by one of the other guys that had turned furry, and bigger. They were like eight feet tall. What? Uh, and the the uh." He starts to get agitated because he's like, no, that, that's not right. That can't possibly be correct. That's not right. But he, he, then the, my, the, okay, then he got shot. The short one got shot in the chest and went down and, okay, okay, okay. The other one that looked almost like him, 
without all the hair, picked him up, and they jumped over the hedges and disappeared. Yeah. Oh. He's sweating. He has it, There are rivulets of sweat that are coming down from his hairline over this. And he's like, okay, that's it. The story's over. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need any coffee for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um has so so they're Germanic and blonde but speak really good with an English accent. Um, are they fair, dark haired? No, one of them is a German. The other two are English. Yes. But they all speak English. He, he I guess the German just accented English. Mm -hmm. And then the other two spoke um with British accents. And grew taller. Yeah, uh, he 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 looks at you and he was like, "Yeah, they grew so big, they were huge." Oh, the the taller ones were at least eight feet tall. The shorter one wasn't much shorter than that, and they all had hair all over the place and big claws. They came back to try get me. Yeah, okay, this is where he starts to really get agitated, and and it's like he his mind has switched back a little bit further to where he was actually attacked, which is, you know, why the dressings are there. And he reaches for the dressings and uh, not to rip them off or anything, just to feel. And he's like, yeah, that's right. He's using the feel of the dressings to help him remember. And, uh, and uh, he looks up and he says, yeah, uh, the, 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 the German one that became hairy tried to grab me. And I fought him off, and he scratched me with his right hand across here. And and you know that there is no hand on the planet that scratches anybody like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, and not well, maybe a, a Dino, maybe, but not not a human. Right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. He doesn't know any hand on Earth. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Um, How did you get away? I didn't. I was right there until the end. More cops came and and they took me to the hospital and uh, then they arrested me. You mean they just clawed you and left you there? Yeah, they had to well, take their other guy that was shot. Oh. So it went in the middle. So basically, the the you know the, the one guy killed the other one cop, then got shot, and then they they skedaddled. Even though they were trying to take him, and he was too much trouble to take with. Mm -hmm. That—that's what I thought too. What did they say they wanted? They never spoke. Well, you said they spoke in English. English accent. They, well, they—they—they—they—they they, 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 they weren't threatening. They were—they were speaking to one another. It was almost like they were—they were trying to plan while they were acting, like role players. <laughs> I thought like that might what? get you. Like role players. <laughs> um, I mean, like soccer hooligans, or did they, what did they? What did they say specifically? Did they say there he is, or well, let's just get this one, or yeah, it was. They were very easy going about it. It was like, yeah, let's, yeah, here's here's the guy. Here's the one that I was talking about. I was telling you about. So but they, they were looking for you in a general sense. I I don't know. I'd never seen them before in my life. Of course I I don't pay the most attention, but I had never seen them anywhere doing anything. By the way, Ginger, thank you for the correction. <clears throat> do you think you could do you think you could uh uh work with somebody it, do you guys have a sketch artist? I'll talk to. I'll turn around to the cop. Do you guys have a sketch artist, or something like that? We already tried to get a description. Oh, pardon me, of these guys out of him. And, and the, the best, he he reaches. You know that file he was reaching into earlier. He well, he brought it with him the whole way, and he he hands you a a, a small stack of three drawings, and they all look very similar. Um, they're all hairy. They look like dog faces. 
And he says, uh, the, the lieutenant says, we tried to get descriptions of the men before they became all hairy, but he, he, his mind has been so twisted and terrified by this incident that he can't remember what they, they look like other than they had square jaws and they had, uh, the German one had chiseled features, like he said. And that, he, what he described to you is the very same stuff he described to me. And he hands someone another piece of paper with those exact descriptions on them. Okay. And yeah, this isn't then. This is kind of a dead end here, I guess. Well, something occurs to the lieutenant then, and he says, "Baku, um, did any of them wear glasses?" And Baku is is like, "Let me think. I gotta, I gotta think about this." And he he gets up from his bed and and turns to his left and walks over to the corner where the toilet is, and he sits down between the end of the bed and the toilet, and. He his eyes are moving around and he's trying to remember, and um, he says, "I I don't remember. All I, re I I I remember the square jaw, the 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 chiseled features, the the blonde hair um, of the German one, and the the dark brown hair of the other two. But then when they became all hairy, all three of them were dark brown." Did any okay. of them wear hats? Uh, hats. Hats. Um, no. No, not that I can think of. All of the hair of the smaller one was really messy. It was short, but it was really messy. So when you were standing, did you have to look up at all three of them? Um, I stayed on the ground trying to, to figure out where I could go to get away from them until the one picked me up off the ground, and then I could look straight into his eyes. But I think I was almost three feet off the ground. <laughs> okay. Not exactly an inconspicuous height. No. No, it's not. We should definitely be able to, like, maybe... You know what? I have streetwise... Maybe we can, um, like, hit the streets, or let me hit the streets and see if I can't uh, uh, see if anybody knows where these guys, knows these guys, or I've seen like, these guys before. The lieutenant's like, well, if you can get anything out of anyone that, uh, that we've not been able to get, more power to you. Um, there's a mall two blocks away from here. Um, for tourists, even these kind of tourists, they might have gone there. Have you pulled security footage? Have you checked? Um, we don't have a whole lot of security cameras around here. Um, uh, but at the mall, no, I haven't. You know what? Let me get you a letter and I'll sign it and we'll see, uh, See if you can pull any security footage from the couple of stores that are in there that uh, that may have these guys. And he's like, "Okay, give me five minutes, and I'll have that for you." So he runs cool. out of the he runs can out we, of the area. Can we bring it here to to view it? Uh, what's yeah, that? That's what he's giving. He's giving. He's deputizing us, Ginger. In in yeah, essence, yes. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll we'll bring it the footage back here and view it. But uh, let's try to see what uh, our friend ha uh, Mo has to say about uh, scenting these creatures. Okay. Okay. All right. Baku is like, um, please close the door behind you. We will. We will. We will. Don't worry. And We're gonna. And and don't you worry, uh, Mr. Baku. Uh, you, you've got you you've got the uh, uh, dog fight. The, the human biplane on the case. These guys won't hurt you again, I promise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and he, he kind of, he gets back up from between the toilet and the end of the bed and goes and sits back on the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. So you guys head out to the main police station and uh, the main part of the police station and, and uh, you can see the lieutenant and he's actually at a computer. All right, who's rustling? Who's rustling? 
Um, oh, I'm sorry. That was me again. My bad. <laughs> I'm muting. He's actually it's not me this time. He's actually at a computer and he he types up a letter. Um, uh, and when he's done with it, he kind of reads it over and over and over again. And then he's like, Hey, uh, come here a minute. And, uh, uh, he, uh, signals for all of you to come over. Mo, um, yeah. if you're done with the dogs by now, he could be signaling for you too. Okay. Yeah. I've, okay. I've come back up. All right. And, and he says, come here, come here, come here. And he, he, he kind of waves you all behind his desk and he says, okay, Read this real quick and see if there's anything else that you might need. And and I want you guys to kind of outline for me other than, you know, other than the, the video footage that's there, which is probably in digital, um, uh, anything else that you could think of that you might need. Uh, well, he did. Did that uh, vagrant say or the survivor say that? Uh, they sounded like they were playing ball with him. Playing ball with him? Not that I can remember. You mean, oh, you mean like tossing him back and forth between them? Yeah. No, no, he didn't say anything like that. Um, the cops pulled in, according to his account, um, pretty much right after the the three um, the three white men started, you know, kind of tossing this guy around or not tossing him around, but, uh, you know, kind of pushing him at the shoulder, taunting him, you know, stuff like that. So that might've been where you got, you know, passing him around or anything like that, tossing him around like a ball. Um, they were just kind of taunting him, pushing on his shoulder, you know, stuff like that, kind of making some fun of him at most. They were toying with him. They were toying with him and they were talking about, well, that's the guy that I was telling you about. And, um, and then the blue light specials showed up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, can you tell me the, uh, the Baku, uh, he seems very educated. What is his profession? He was a medical doctor. Before he lost his job. I he, asked the cop. Yeah. He, he was a medical doctor. He, uh, he, uh, uh, took his education and residency in England and uh and when he returned home he was a doctor for about 25 years here and then a kid uh one of our one of our local girls died um uh when he prescribed her something um he was completely cleared by the medical board but that little girl dying on his table you know when he was just trying to treat something that seemed so simple and it turns out she had an allergy um and it, it killed her he he just he stopped practicing altogether. His wife divorced him. Uh, his kids were already grown and gone, and uh, he lost the, his house. He lost his automobile, lost all of his money, and just became a street man. Well, what his his what was his specialty? He was just a general practitioner. He wasn't even a surgeon. In order to to do surgery around here um we've actually got to fly people out so why would they be looking for a doctor turned vagrant yeah. well, were, they, were, looking for, were they looking for him or had they just spotted a vagrant and the guy went and got the rest of his pack and came back to harass the guy uh, the I mean, he would have just been an easy and convenient target. The lieutenant is just sitting there, and he's shaking his head back and forth. I couldn't tell you why. I just don't know. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're just going to spitball between us for a minute then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I realized I was on mute. Um, hey, do, do, does, the, uh, does the lieutenant, do you have a significant uh, homeless population on the island? Um, probably one person per around a thousand. So not a big, not no. a, not a. Considering so they, there's, there's, there's maybe 50,000 people in this, in this, uh, in this town. Okay. Okay. Or actually he so, would refer to it as a city because for him, uh, 50,000 people in such a small area would be like a city for him. 
Sure. Okay, so basically, the him being a vagrant would be enough of a noticeable thing. Yeah, yeah, I I would think so. That's the you know we we're rousting vagrants um, and and just uh, street people. Uh, we try and keep them in the uh, in the residential area and out of the uh, uh, out tourist of the commercial, area. out of the touristy area because it it kills our tourism. And we you know we've got businesses that we have to look after, or else we lose everything. So you'd say Bob Two is relatively well known as a vagrant. No, not anymore. Um, he has been he he fell out of practice about six years ago and more or less disappeared we know about him the uh you know any medical people know about him but he he keeps quiet he keeps to himself he doesn't do anything but go begging for food and that's about it so he doesn't practice on the sly like to other indigents or provide medical care Uh, did you did you hear what i said about the little girl a few minutes ago Right, 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 but ha- he hasn't developed a say drinking problem or anything like that. Oh, he's like, an al- he's a full blown yeah. alcoholic. Yeah, so alcoholics will sometimes do awful things for another kid. Anyway, well, um, good point, but he doesn't have to. We um, okay the 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 uh, the, the orders that we were getting can can we can you make sure that basically we have uh some police authority or something like that. If we needed to, somebody gave us some trouble about asking questions, so um, something that's saying we're working with you guys. You know, I I'm so well known in this town that if, if, uh, if you have my signature on here and he finishes printing out, you know, a page and he signs it, uh, uh, you know, he, he, but it's only one. He says, I can only give you one. So you have to work together. Um, but it, you know, they know where I'm at. They've a lot of them have my personal cell phone number, so if they need to call me, they can. All right, cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All, All right. right. So, so just just to break down, mm-hmm. we've had four attacks. Mm-mm. Three. Three. Mm-hmm. All right, just three attacks. All right. So. All right. All right. So we had the the cannery guy. All right, so we've had all right, yeah, we've had we've had three attacks. All right, Can't for some reason I, I think it was just because the cop got attacked at the same time the uh, mm-hmm. uh, the bum did. So uh, so we had three attacks. Yep, there's one here. Um, Cannery worker murder. Mm-hmm. There was one here about four days ago for the restaurant policeman murder instead of the the vagrant murder because Baku could be dead. Yeah. And then there's the maid from this morning. In the maid from this morning, yeah. Uh, so there, they were. Uh, there's been three attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's been three attacks that we know about. Mm-hmm. If they're, if they're, if they're picking on the vagrant homeless community, uh, that you know they they might be reticent to talk about people just disappearing. And it, uh, you know, I mean, or they could have not even found them. They could have been sleeping somewhere inside of some house somewhere, and uh, oh, well, yeah, they just I haven't mean, found it, it yet. Yeah, so, uh, so I, I'm, I'm just trying to cook because there was a cannery worker, there was the maid, and, yeah. and there was this vagrant. So there's no particular pattern of who they've attacked that we know about. Uh, apparently, two were males. One was a female. Uh, it appears they were trying to kidnap. This guy first, which makes me think that possibly these guys are doing this for sport. I mean, if they got some wolf pack in them, wolves will do that sort of thing. Uh, and, and, you know, who knows? Maybe they were trying to take him somewhere where they could play with him without being interrupted. And, and you know, the police were just ill-timed and the, uh, you know, the whole thing came up. Ah. Uh, it's hard to tell. And then there were the two attacks where they 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 apparently just showed up and deliberately straight up killed people right there, where everybody would find them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, it's crazy. I had no no answer. Yeah. yeah okay. You know. 
So I mean, there's, there's no pattern to get onto yet. But where does the German population? Die? You know, most of the time in these kind of towns, you know, the the the, the Germans and, and the uh, tourists hang out here, and you know that that would be a place to go start looking for German yeah, tourists. You may, you- yeah, the the officer mentioned uh, a mall. Let's let's start our search there, and and, and we'll just see if we can't uh, we'll see if we can't pick up a scent of them. Sounds good <laughs> to me. Uh, the dogs, I think, can track this guy. If we uh, the, the the dogs down in there, police uh, uh, the, the the police hounds. Uh, good dogs, good dogs. <laughs> uh, the, the the handler might need some- <laughs> might need some help, huh? Might need some help. You know, he just, uh, I, I don't think he really has a clue what he's doing. Uh, I, I'd be surprised <laughs> if the police, okay, uh, uh, Lieutenant, I'd be surprised if that handler could get your dogs to do a damn thing. You should, you should really try to find someone that's a little better than that. Uh, you, yeah. you, you're really going to tell him his brother sucks as a dog handler? Uh, yeah, it wasn't his brother. Uh, oh, wait, no, that was a sergeant's brother. Never mind. Uh, that was a sergeant's brother. Yeah, but the sergeant's desk <laughs> is not very far from the lieutenant's. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no problem with him overhearing that. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, just didn't, he just didn't seem particularly interested. All he did was shuffle them where they, where they wanted to go. You can't get the most out of a hunting pack if you just do that. Yeah. yeah that's, that's just... That's just not, that's just, uh, you know, you, you could do a lot better with those animals. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, if we could get them a track, I could get Wait. them to track him. But uh, yeah, maybe if we, maybe I could take them back to the uh, hotel and see if I could get them to track, backtrack the guy from there, uh, figure out where they came from. I mean, you know, that was an awful public place to try to do that. Mm-hmm. To, to do that killing, though, uh, e- even at that hour. Hey, 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 Mo! I just, I, I just remembered this. Uh, could you do that thing that you did for me the other night for the 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 the, the Claude dude? What Claude dude? The 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 guy we were here to visit when you went to go talk to the dogs. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. If 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 he's injured, yes, I, I'd be glad to like call on Anala and. Uh, see if in her mercy she would be willing to uh, to heal him. Yeah, let's go back um, and see that because well, I want to I want to see his reaction. Now wait a minute, the lieutenant the lieutenant kind of reaches out for Mo's wrist, and he's like, "We are keeping him here on purpose, and I can't keep him here on purpose if he's not injured. I would have to turn him out to the street." Uh, I, I look, that's on you. So uh, your house, your rules, boss. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, I, until this mess is cleaned up, I don't see any reason to set him back out on the street, but I, the city council will not let me keep him where he is unless there's some kind of proof that he was involved somehow. So... Let's get this solved, and then I'll be happy to let you do what you're going to do. All right, that, that, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, all right, guys. So, what do we want to do? You want you want me to take the dog? And see if I can't like uh, um, uh, I can backtrack. sign you out one. Uh, I picked the one that seemed to be the the one that knew it. Uh, okay, so the the medium the one size that was remarkably familiar with what a skate was. Yeah, <laughs> skate. yeah. Uh, that one had a remarkable sense of economy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The one the one that can understand out of state. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I have trouble with that concept. So let's, uh... That's an exceptional dog. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. So, and, so, y- and y'all can, and so, y'all can go to the uh, y'all can go to the mall. See if y'all can uh, see if y'all can like you know fish up any video. Maybe y'all can get a picture. If y'all can find somebody well, that matches, maybe he'll recognize. Maybe the uh, witness will recognize. Could the, be. Uh, any still photos, and from there we can start working on figuring out who they are. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Why? Why am I getting strange images of Maria Hill dancing? 
Let's go to the club. I'm sorry, never mind. Anyway. Stop. That was way too deep a cut. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um so you all head to the mall. Okay. The lieutenant's not going to go with you. He's he's got paperwork to do, especially with this new murder. Um so he's going to stay there and do the the paperwork, but he does point you in the direction of the mall. It is, you know, two blocks east. And uh uh he's like uh you know, good luck. Here's the dog. And what do you guys do from there? At once you're at the mall. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm going to jump in and take my little part here because, uh, uh, according to the rule book, doing streetwise is a couple of hours work and you're just wandering around talking to people and trying to pick up, pick up news. There you go. So I'm going to be making a streetwise, um, check and see if I can, uh, get some information that we don't get otherwise. Okay. Before <laughs> I, I, I can, uh, if I say, I can see this montage, you're walking the mall, talking to people. Chris and yeah. Peaches are, are, are pouring through like videotape. Yeah. And me and the dog are like walking around out in the, uh, out at the crime scene. You know, just as a dun, 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 cause all that's going to take all of us a lot of time, probably mm-hmm. the rest of the day. Could be, you never know. <laughs> nice right there. Uh-huh. Well, okay. Hold on. Does anybody else have streetwise that they would want to help a uh, dog fight with? Um, Penny. Penny. Uh, uh, yeah, your your cat is zeroing in on us. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, she is in fact. Ah. Uh, Here, count on this toy. Not not the actual mouse, but the uh, toy mouse. Here we go. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anyone? Sorry, she was talking to you. Bueller. Bueller? I, 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 don't, I don't think we necessarily need one. Okay. I don't have streetwise. Um, just a survival, I suppose. No, it would Street, have to be yeah. streetwise. Survival is for yeah. something else entirely. So Making sure we don't starve. Yeah, well, you know, finding good places to stay, water that sort of thing. The, yeah, water in the desert, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, so uh, dog fight. Go ahead and make your uh, streetwise. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Okay, I'm making sure there's nothing I want to mess with. Okay, cool. All right. Now you can pull this all the way back up. There we go. And I do the funny thing with this. And there we go. <laughs> Booyah. There it is. Oh, okay. No, it's that, not. That's, that's, that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, did you select your character before you rolled your, your your token? No, no, I did it from the character sheet. My bad. Okay, no, no, no. No, it's not your bad. Hang on just a second. Okay, so I've just modified your turn order so that you can roll, go ahead and roll a possibility. Okay, uh, you can how do, do, I that. do that? Okay, you uh, select dogfight, your token. Um, okay, there and, it is. Okay. and then in the chat, you've got possibility and up down there on the bottom. Gotcha. Um, I've already changed your last roll to five in the turn order, so you can go ahead and make that roll now. What? Okay, whatever I did, it didn't work. Were you trying to click from the character sheet again? No, I tried to click uh, the possibility on the little box. What the hell? Did you click on your token? I clicked on my token. I got the blue box around my token. Okay. And then I clicked on possibility. Uh, in that case, it's possible. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> let, let we did uh, We did what here. we could do. Let me see something here. Well, real that's quick. what you get after the cat. Then there's the dog. It's, you know. Okay. So modifier, no modifier. Submit. Okay. Now it rolled. So, um, I don't understand what happened, but sometimes there are errors with these things. Uh, your character sheet may not be a hundred percent up to snuff. Okay. So, um, that's, uh, that's not that a bad mean I rolled a 10. Doesn't uh, that mean I rolled a 10? 
Yeah, uh, your last roll was a five. Your new roll was, yeah, that's a ten. That would be a natural ten. So why didn't it roll again? Oh, no, he rolled a three. Did, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let me, let me go over that. Ten. Let me go over that. Five, what? okay, twenty, ten plus five plus three plus ten. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what it was. You rolled a three. That gave you a minimum of ten because whenever you spend a possibility. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Oh. Where did you see the three at, though? Okay. So uh, you take your cursor. Yeah. Well, hang on. Hang on. Take your uh, take your cursor, the tip of your, your mouse arrow, over the number 15 behind total roll. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that'll give you the formula, and it'll tell you what you actually rolled. Got so, it. All right, cool. Thanks. Okay. All right, bet. then. Well, then just a plus two to my charisma is going to be 12. Yeah, yeah. It already gave the result in there. Yep. So, yep. Um, okay, 12 is really not bad. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, it takes you about two and a half hours to get any real information out of out of people because apparently they have the, – the German folks that are visiting and Austrian folks who are visiting – uh, have actually heard about these murders themselves. Apparently, there's quite a bit of a grapevine uh, going on in Celicap for the the, the uh, German and Austrian communities, which are not really communities so much as uh, there's like one store owner uh, who who actually knows something, and uh, then you've got these uh, other folks from Germany and Austria who come by and they kind of warn one another of what's going on. So you've had some short vacations going on uh, and stuff like that. <laughs> well, their community is actually more towards the uh, towards the north uh, east of town. See where I'm? I've got my circle coming out here. Okay. Okay. Um, but, um, there's nobody, you give a description of the, the German guy with the square jaw and the, you know, the, the chiseled features and the blonde short hair and the bit, you know, everything that ba Baku gave you and, uh, none of them know anything about that. Okay. About, about the end of three and a half hours, um, you you do get a description of a really tall, blonde, you know, chiseled German living closer in, say, well, let me get my measuring tape out here. Closer, okay, the mall is about right here. So th they say that he lives closer in that direction. You see what I'm pointing at? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, but they don't know where or how far they've just seen, you know, there are various people who've seen him going up in that direction. Okay. Okay. Now, um, so, uh, that's it for dogfight for right now. Um, dealing with, uh, Peaches and Chris trying to, uh, get the videotape and stuff like that, uh, you get a little bit of a, 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 get a little bit of lip from one of the, uh, the store owners until you give a description of the lieutenant and then they're, they're just all, you know, nice with you all of a sudden. Um, that's good. And all you are requesting is copies. Uh, we're not going to destroy anything. We'll request a copy of the data. Um, yeah, that's, the, both of them comply with you. They're like, uh, uh, please have the lieutenant call us when he gets this information so that we can uh, we can know it got into the right hands just in case he needs more copies. Which is really weird. The people around here are really laid back compared to folks mm -hmm. in America. Um, oh, absolutely. Um, so, um, yeah, they hand you that uh, that information and you can put it in your pad that you've got. Um, and you can kind of go over your own pictures. The crime site pictures don't come out to reveal anything special for you. Um, but the pictures of the people, um, you can kind of go over those and show those around a little bit. And there's like, oh yeah, this guy lives down here and he's been working here for a long time. So he's, he's, you know, he's not a suspect. And this guy's, you know, you can go through and pretty much eliminate everyone that was at the crime scene that morning, uh, as a suspect. Okay. Yeah. Especially I'm glad I take pictures of everybody then. 
That's right, and that's what those dice rolls were for earlier. Um, and then, uh, Jin, uh, I'm sorry, Peaches and Chris, are you two looking for anything in specific? Uh, any of the described, uh, the people that uh, back to described and or uh, any trios of men we're looking at closely. Um, you do see a trio in in a uh, kind of kind of in the evening early evening hours. You do see a trio uh, at one point in the videotape around the the clothing shop where you got the 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 uh, videotape from the digital tape. And um, the problem is you've got a shorter guy that kind of is built like a brick house and a taller guy that looks almost like a twin there that you can tell that they're probably related, maybe brothers. And then there's a third guy, but he doesn't have chiseled features. He's actually um, shorter than, uh, than the taller brother, if you will. Um, and he's got really long tied back hair, black hair. Well, um, interesting. Uh, uh, is there any sound to accompany this? These, uh, uh, these the, this digital imagery? There is sound with the imagery, but it's really, you know how you kind of oh. walk into a crowd and there's a whole ton of people talking all at the same time? We wouldn't happen to hear them at all, do we? Um, not that we talking, can tell. Are they walking and talking? Yeah, not not that you can tell without some kind of technological help. Chris, well, you got anything? I can't think of anything. Wait. Okay. Peaches, can you think of anything else? Yeah. Uh, see if I can't download it to my high tech pad. And does it have any kind of sound scrubbing software? Um, it's got a whole bunch of apps on it, but you would have to spend hours and hours going through those apps to find out if you've got anything. <sighs> a task and, for... And a, a lot of those apps, though, try and grab hold of the Godnet. Oh, well, good thing it's not here. Yeah, it, it 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 the screen comes up. The Godnet is loading, and oh, and it, it tell it kind of flashes in and out, flashes in and out, and then it's like uh, failure to initialize Godnet. That's right. Well, this is a hacked pad, remember? Yep. So it it wouldn't want to connect anyway. Well, that's mostly true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least for the, the, the things that I, I want to use it for. So I, I turn it back off. Okay. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to uh, uh, call down even more disaster on this fine little island. <laughs> okay, then, uh, Mo, what about you? All right, uh, me and the dog mm -hmm. uh, go back to the, 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 the uh, scene of the crime. Okay. Uh, I, I give him his little, uh, I give him some, the, the scent, uh, again and try to get him to follow it. Okay. Uh, I guess that would be a tracking roll. Sure. But, uh, sure. Oh, sounds on, good. Machine. Um, and, oh, dear. Uh, and add two, oh, okay. add two to your, to your tracking yeah. roll for the dog. That's what I was uh, going to ask was mm -hmm. if, uh, was if the, uh, was if the, Dog provided any sort of bonus. Yep, uh, I think a plus two is appropriate. Come on, dice roller, give me, give, give, give daddy some, uh, give daddy some, uh, uh, some loving here. <laughs> That's some okay. loving. That it got me all the way up to a seven. Well, now wait a minute. You didn't include the plus two from the dog, though. Mm, I did. How? I don't see it. I don't see your bonus anywhere. Did it not go in? Correct. Yeah, it, did not. It, it didn't go in. Remember the modifier that pops up? Yeah. It gives you a modifier. You were supposed to put plus two in there. 
Oh, uh, that's okay. Uh, it gives you a result of nine, which is not quite good enough. The the dog what, for about two hours leads you around. Well, what does tracking go off of? I might have a card that I can play to get that up to a over a ten. Well, hang on just a second. Tracking is based on mind. Mind. All right. Let's see. I do. I can play a willpower card. Okay. And... Go ahead and do that. All right. Boom. Okay. Um, so that gives you a plus three for mine. So that's uh, 10, 11, 12. So that's pretty good. Um, so, okay. Will you please click? Uh oh, it's not going to click for me. Oh, I know why. Because I haven't chosen select move. Okay. So that's a 12. And um, the dog kind of starts leading you around the, the scene of this morning's crime, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me make sure I'm going in the right place. Um, let me, okay, so the dog kind of leads you up here and here and to this road and over and then loses the scent right about here. All righty. So he takes you uh, 6,100 feet, more than a mile, uh, um, until he has to start sniffing around again. Give him the scent from the envelope again. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, did you, you want me to... Is that as far as the trail is going to go, or do you um, want me to try well, to make I, I don't know. Um, huh. So, you know, he... Okay. Hang on just a second. Let me draw a shape. So you guys get to here. You know, I, I, let me, let me try something here. Um, dog on it. Oh, what are you doing, Paul? You knucklehead. Okay. So the dog gets around there. Uh, and is able to kind of start sniffing around. He starts sniffing at people's houses and starts sniffing at people's trash and starts sniffing at you and starts sniffing at at, uh, at one by you know car that that's driving past, which just happens to be a taxi cab. Um, uh, he he gets over into into a yard right about here. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. <sighs> Gets into a yard right about here, okay, and sniffs around there for a little while. Okay. Uh, all right, and uh, I, I pull out my little pen and pen, uh, mechanical pencil and write down the address. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I will walk him around some more to see if I we can pick up the scent, like okay. somewhere in the in the greater like you know block area if, if we go around okay uh yeah i, I can try another uh, uh tracking roll but, okay um, so, yeah if, after about if, he, he's... If, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, if if the uh if the trail's played out then uh, i'll i'll uh uh, take him back to pol police headquarters and then get with everybody and tell them so i tracked it as far as here Mm -hmm. And lost the trail, but um, well, you know, it seems to definitely be coming from this way. Okay, so um, it it's about you know you only go one mile, so it's only about twenty minutes before he stops. But it's like an hour before he's done sniffing around, and and you come to the conclusion that he has probably lost the trail. Um, okay, so you you open your pouch again and let him sniff, um, and go ahead and make your tracking roll. Don't forget the plus two for the dog. All right. Tracking modifier two. All right. It's in there. All right. Submit. It's in there. Oh, okay. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Right. So, um, you managed to, uh, let me get back down here. So, at first, the dog kind of leads you down this way, and then he gets up into a neighborhood and over here and back down here. But then he really starts to catch up and starts heading down the road this way, okay? And then seems to follow the roadway that goes up here 
And at one point, the smell gets strong enough to where he's actually running around on the road. Okay, it's about maybe an hour, and uh, and then he loses it again. He starts sniffing around in in that area again, right about here. Let me get a uh, shape on that again. Oh come on, you should remember this. All right. Uh, what is the Olam Sari in the camera? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's just the name of a camera shop. Um, I investigated it and verified that, but then my PTSD brain lost it. So, okay, and we've just started into our fourth hour of gaming at the end of the night. So, um, so what do you guys want to do, uh, Mo? How do you want to do this? Uh, well, I will keep tracking as long as that dog will stay on scent. Once he loses scent, um, I'm going to go back to, uh, look for everybody else and let them know where I last lost the, uh, okay. Where I lost the scent. But, um, there's one more thing. You see all those woods that are around where the, where the, uh, the dog was, where the dog mm-hmm. kind of lost scent. Okay. He goes and begin. He begins pulling on the the leash that you've got for him, and he begins smelling quite a few trees. And he'll go from one tree to the other and, and spend some time sniffing it, and then he'll raise his leg. But after that, there there is no gathering the scent again, and it's beginning to to get dark. So, so, uh, so they probably are marking their territory right in here. Could All right, be. That's, that's good to know. So, okay, so you head back uh, to the the mall, and as you're on your way back to the mall, you actually pass the police station where your friends join you. Yeah, all righty. And you share your various stories of what you did and did not find and everything like that, and come to find out that where the dog stopped is pretty much the same area everybody else seems to point the direction of uh, especially dogfight to uh that that uh he's been told that they go to okay okay sounds like we got a plan for next time yeah probably the next time oh penny just dropped out uh uh Sorry, Ginger. i'm here i don't know what happened uh I'm okay continuing uh that's okay we're pretty much done for the evening uh it's the end of this first scene We've spent four hours on the first scene of this one shot. <laughs> Hoping to celebrate our first anniversary as gamers on, on uh, in early January. I think oh, that's wow. gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. whole year we've been we've been playing, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, well uh, uh, and and with roll symptoms when we're not playing, so <laughs> 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 all right. Catch you later, guys. All right, be good. All right. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Andrew, you have a great night, sir. Uh, well, it looks like there's a couple of nice restaurants me and the dog can go eat at. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's not <laughs> bad at all, is it? <laughs> all right. You have a great night, okay? Sure will. You take care. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for running. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Bye. Uh, bye-bye.